Hey YouTubers, Tross here. I've been playing some Minecraft the uh, past week and a half or so. I'm a multiplayer server here, and I'm at a newly built iron farm. Uh, this is an iron trench design uh, by Tango Tech. I'll uh, include a link down in the description. Uh, this is an amazing design for an iron farm. Uh, it's still rebuilding, uh, but basically it has... Uh, 32 different villages inside here and uh, kind of manipulates the village building code uh, there's some pistons on the side here and there's this section over here with doors and it, it builds up 32 separate villages uh, so you get iron a lot faster than you normally do or iron golems and then uh, you can see just add another one here uh, all the iron and roses are collected here inside uh, there's item lift and iron is stored here there's actually eight double uh, double chests over there that store the iron and then we already have uh, a lot of iron there <laughs> uh, the roses are supposed to come over here there is an item sorter it occasionally misses a rose as you can see have a whole bunch of roses over here as well. Uh, but this takes a lot of work to build. I mean, it, it's definitely doable. It takes over two double chests of uh, cobble, in our case. Um, there's a lot of redstone. Let me show you inside. Everything around. No wood doors for over 100 blocks. There's over 700 wood doors in this thing. Uh, here's the main timing circuit. I added a, a little extra for the, the lights, for what the building stated is in. I can see here's our rose storage. Uh, this is the item sorter right here. And here's iron storage. And I added in an additional circuit that once this gets filled up, uh, we have a mine cart that will come in and take items away. Uh, you can see some of the doors here. Uh, I we did build this 90%, uh, 99% in uh, survival, and the admin just gave us uh, a creative mode just uh, when debugging because we did have a few uh, issues in flying around and figuring out what was going wrong where. It helped out a lot. Yeah, so that's all the doors on the bottom floor. There's this villager here that gets moved up and down so he's in or not in detection range of the doors. Some note blocks here that uh, play a little tune uh, when it starts in rebuilding mode. And it knows when to rebuild. If you leave the area, uh, this is not built in the spawn area. So if you leave the area, uh, the kind of villages get destroyed and collapsed into one village. Uh, so there's little pressure plates here. Uh, so if you don't get some iron golems for a certain amount of time, it's like a minute or so, then uh, the circuit here says, okay, something happened, we need to uh, rebuild the 32 villages, and it uh, resets everything and uh, goes to the rebuild process. Here's uh, most of the circuitry for stage one, where basically... Uh, through this uh, building and the, the kind of small building on the far side, it keeps shifting the villages back and forth. Basically, every shift also creates one additional village. And uh, once that's all done, it has 32 villages set up. It then goes into phase two, which is done up on the roof, uh, where uh, then the villages are moved into this building and expanded because uh, originally they're just built built off of one door on this side and one door on that far little building. Uh, here's the first spawn pad. We got the main set of villagers here. We got the second spawn pad. And then uh, there's more doors up here to make the uh, the bulk. Because uh, I believe you need something like 29 doors in the village. Uh, I forget the exact number. Uh, 
There's a whole bunch of villagers here. I think there's at least 22. Uh, that says 15. Well, you can see as we as I move around, now saying 20. Uh, I think you need at least 20 or 21. I, I believe the correction video, uh, Tango Tech, who built this, uh, those main video that's over an hour, and there's another like 10 minute correction video. Uh, yeah. 22 is the number you want to shoot for. Let's get rid of that. And then up here on the roof is what's done for phase two. These pistons uh, push out, exposing uh, all the doors in a single row uh, to sunlight, making a village out of them one at a time. And there is one villager here on a cart. He gets moved up and down to in detection range or out of detection range of all the... Uh, doors. It's a, it's a complex system. It takes about 20 minutes to go through a rebuild cycle, but it's definitely worth it. You get a whole lot of iron. And here. It's hardly a second when there isn't a uh, uh, golem in the trench here. So if you can completely rebuild correctly because when we initially got it working, uh, yeah, we had many, many goals. But yeah, this one spawned out here, so I'm, I think it did so correctly. You may have noticed uh, there's some extra stuff around here. I'll do a few more videos. Uh, this is that's the witch farm over there, uh, basically making this whole area into a uh, kind of uh, automatic resource generating area. We've got the witch farm over there, which still have working to my uh, liking. I want to try to like the caves more because where I believe is the issue with that. We got an iron farm. I uh, got a bunch more stuff but uh, I'll show you that in future videos. There's the uh, little cart that comes every uh, I think it comes every two minutes and checks to see if this is full. Obviously we're not near full. We just set this up. Uh, yeah look at that. Two more bones. So yeah, this is definitely, if you want an iron farm, this is the way to go. It, it, it's more work to set up. I think it took us, like, it was uh, me and Zantric, uh, two guys, you know, me and one other guy. It took us, like, probably 24 hours of playtime. Um, so that's maybe 48 total, and we're working together. Uh, we built this over five days, and then... Uh, one last uh, like two, three hours to work out all the little bugs. We you know, place a long piece of redstone in one spot. Uh, you know, have the wrong. Uh, there's four different hopper timers in here. I think we had wrong count of items in one of the hopper timers. Uh, but we eventually all worked it out. They're all working. Uh, so, yeah, we got a little AFK house here. So, you can wait here. And watch as items fall down. In the and, uh, yeah, definitely, if you want an iron farm, this far uh, outperforms other designs that I have seen. And uh, it, it does have the kind of 20 minute warm up, but if you don't need the area, you'll get far, far more iron out of this design. Than other designs. And, um, while it is a lot to build, you know, other designs that have multiple locations that are far away, like I've seen one where you had to build four different villages, in, you know, far enough away from each other, and then four above each of those, really high up, and that that also takes a lot of resources, and you only work out to be eight villages where this is, you know, smaller footprint, basically the same amount of materials. Maybe more redstone and more pistons, but uh, we'll give you eight times the performance. Well, more than eight times the performance. Well, it's very good. I mean, this chest was, you know, maybe an hour, hour and a, you know, of, you know, hour and ten minutes of uh, filling. So it, it does at least a chest full of iron in an hour. 
so yeah uh, I'll, I'll link his uh, design video definitely definitely something to uh, do to build if you're looking for an iron farm and uh, talk to you guys next time I'll be showing off uh, more of what I built around here and uh, keep on building <laughs> bye